Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and if you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or up atop on the easy-to-use widget. Going to be a little bit more quiet in this video since people are sleeping. This is going to be a late reaction to the Charlie McAvoy extension that he's greatly earned, that he's now getting a raise from $4.9 million a year. It's kicking in next year to $9.5 million a year. This is a guy that early in his career, he's only 23, already in his career he averages 22 over 22 minutes. This year in one game he totaled 24 minutes. He has a Corsi 4, which you want to have over 50, at a great 54.4, and an offensive zone um, start efficiency at a 52.6. Um, so he definitely does it right. He's a player that keeps progressing. The way you want to progress him, he was fifth in the colder in his first year, had a very good second year, and then in his third year at 22, was already 10th in the Norris, excuse me, then in his fourth year at 23, was fifth in the Norris, and then of course you have this season. So this is a season, I'm going to predict it right now, I think Charlie McAvoy is going to be top five in the Norris again, and I think he could be top three this year. The thing that holds back, obviously, McAvoy is he's a great stellar two-way defenseman. His biggest season right now is that 30-point season. Or yes, the, no, the 32-point season the year before. Um, To give him 10th in the Norris is his biggest season, then 30 last year. So, I mean, he's not the biggest point guy. Obviously, they tend to give the Norris a lot of times to the guys like the Eric Carlson's of the world who aren't as good of an overall defenseman, obviously, but racked up the points and has a Norris on his record. So I don't know if he'll get, or get it as the winning guy. I think more Norrises should go to guys like Charlie McAvoy, in my own opinion, but they don't do that a lot, and sometimes they give it to more of the points guys. But if he does have a season where he does get more in the 40s or something, I think sure as hell he needs to get the Norris. So I think he's more than worth the money he's getting. That is for damn sure. This is a guy that keeps progressing each year. Um, now he is the 17th highest paid player in the league, and it ties him with Seth Jones. And in my opinion, Charlie McAvoy is a much more better, concise, overall defenseman than Seth Jones. Seth Jones is really just good in the offensive, and he hasn't been good two ways in about three or four years. So um, Charlie McAvoy is definitely a pretty good guy to have there. And he's also the fourth highest paid blue liner between Carl or behind Carlson, excuse me, who he's much better at as an overall game. Drew Doughty, who at this point of his career obviously isn't as good as an overall game, and then Zach Rowinski, who's a great young player himself. So I think Charlie McAvoy's right in that pay grade he deserves. He's continuing to develop. He's already a cream of the crop guy for the next core of this Boston Bruins team, and he's already averaging in the mid-20s in minutes. He's twenty, almost at 23 minutes at this young part of his career, and he's probably going to start playing more late this year, how he played 24 in the first game. That type of role now, now that he's at 23, now that he is the beast, he keeps progressing from 10th in the Norris to 5th. I think he is a guy that should be able to win one some days. I like the guys that have a great overall game, like the Peches, the McAvoys of the world, but don't necessarily always produce on the point total. I think those guys should be recognized more in the Norris, but the Norris, unfortunately, the voters tend to give it more to, unfortunately, guys that get points, but aren't as squeaky clean on both ends. Charlie McAvoy is pretty immaculate on both ends and is one of the most efficient defensemen and one of the more fun defensemen to watch just because of his consistency and the work he puts in on the ice. He's good along the board. He's good on the four check. He's good at poke checking. He's good at using his six foot frame and his 208 pounds in the right way. He's a guy that also um, just knows when to be able to actually score some goals. He obviously has seven, seven, five, and five, and then is a very solid passer and a little bit underrated in that department. So he's a guy that is going to keep getting better, a guy that's going to be in Norris contention for years to come. The Bruins did the right thing locking him up. This is a very smart move, a very wise move, locking up Charlie McAvoy here on the eight-year contract extension since he's a member of their team. They're able to give him for 9.5 a year, giving him that raise from 4.9 a year. Kudos to the Bruins. This has been a reaction to the Charlie McAvoy extension. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out, and if you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or up above.